is Harpo, and today I will be teaching you the basics of creating a 16 by 16 bit texture pack using a program called GIMP. You can download GIMP from this website. The link will be in the description. Click here. A good thing to do before starting is to click on the GIMP icon, let it load, download all the files it needs, and then you can get started. On the desktop, I have a folder titled Default. This contains all the default textures, the pack .txt, which is a little description underneath the title, the pack which is the picture, title, everything else you need. And textures, the way they used to have these laid out is in one big template. But now each is separate. I find this to be a little bit easier. Now, let's start with the sword. Hmm, doesn't matter which one. We'll go diamond. I'm gonna open this. Gimp. There we go. Now, for you, it, this may look a little different since it's probably your first time downloading it. You might already have a toolbox. If not, go to tools, new toolbox. This. Okay. First, you're just going to zoom in so you can get a better, clearer, more Im clear image. Alright. One thing you're going to want to do is make sure your paintbrush is the same size as each pixel, which means double clicking on either the paintbrush or eraser tool and changing the size to 1.00 and the brush to this little square. Now this will be the same size as the pixels. The first thing I like to do is change the colors. Click here and this will pop up. You have a near infinite amount of different color choices to choose from. But to get the same effect as this turquoise blue color, let me go around. There. This is a slight teal blue with darker blue. I find this to be the best. Move this around the color you want, which will show up here. And now click on paintbrush. And just hover over a pixel with the paintbrush and click. Keep clicking until the color is solid. And you can do this for whichever one you want. I'm going to color this in with the colors I want, and I'll see you in a minute. Now that you have selected the different colors you want your sword to be, you can continue on customizing it by changing the looks of it. Simply click on the eraser and let's see. You can erase pixels if you don't want. Or you can add them. You can go all out with customizations. The sword doesn't always have to be blue. I could have made this purple, pink, yellow, green, whichever one I wanted. But I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. That looks good. I have now customized the diamond sword the way I have wanted it to be. Now. To get this back into the items folder, go to File, Export. This is very important, you want to click on Desktop. You don't want to replace it, not yet. Click Desktop and Export. Now you can 
exit out of this. You can save it if you want. I, I never really do. Now, here is the new Diamond Sword file. You can get rid of this one, move to trash, and drag this one in its place. There you go. Now that you've replaced the file, you want to put the default texture folder in your texture text folder in your Minecraft folder. You go to library, application support, Minecraft, texture packs. Simply drag it in and exit out. You could have done this from the Minecraft menu. We were already here, so. Now that we are here, options, texture packs. And click the default. I already have it selected. Done. Load. And there. See, we have changed the diamond sword colors and how it looks. And you could have done different. This is just what I thought up. Okay, I hope this was helpful to all of you. I plan to make this a series where we, in each episode, we'll customize a different thing. I'll finish up swords. Maybe next we'll move on to picks tools, whichever one I think of, and maybe we'll get on the blocks and changing different colors, like grass, the leaves, I'll show you how to clear the glass so you don't have these little lines in it, and I figured another thing we could do is change the ores, beds, craft tables, basically everything that I can think of that I could find. Alright everyone, I hope this was helpful for you, I will hope to continue this on. And if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can to help me help you. My name is Harpo, and I'll see you later.